good afternoon everyone so in our last class we completed tds tcs and we will see mcqs and other aspects related to that and then we will move on to the next chapter that is composition scheme so looking into the first mcq in which of the following cases e-commerce operator is required to get registered so when e-commerce operator is required to get registered in all cases e-commerce operator is compulsorily required to get registered that is whenever the e-commerce operator is liable to pay gst under 95 that hate cases and then whenever the aggregate turnover of the e-commerce operator exceed threshold limit or whenever e-commerce operator is required to deduct tcs under section 52 in all these cases that is a b c all of the above in all the cases e-commerce operator is required to get registered whether amazon flipkart etc are required to pay gst yes on the value of goods supplied through them so any goods which is supplied through them who will pay gst the registered person will pay gst but what they will pay gst on only on the commission part okay so yes on the value of goods supplied by them no yes on the commission earned by them no as the liability is on supplier they are exempted from gst yes if supplier is unregistered no actually option b is the correct answer that is they get a commission uh, usually in case of supplier of goods so in that last class we saw one chart supplier of goods through e-commerce operator supply of notified services through e-commerce operator supply of other than notified services through e-commerce operator in case of first and third liability to pay gst is on the supplier but on e-commerce operator what is the liability only on the commission so like that then which of the following does not constitute a taxable supply as per section 7 red with section 9 supply by taxable person to taxable person so it's a taxable supply non-taxable person to non-taxable person if notified so non-taxable person to non-taxable person if notified means what suppose if it is notified 93 who will pay gst recipient will pay gst supply by taxable person to non-taxable person supply by non-taxable person to taxable person if notified so in which case does not constitute a taxable supply you tell me in out of this in which case it does not constitute a taxable supply b first case supply by taxable person to taxable person that's a taxable supply supply by taxable person to non-taxable person also taxable supply that is b to b b to c you understood whereas supply by non-taxable person to taxable person if notified that is rcm but if both are unregistered there won't be any gst what is e-commerce covered in gst supply of goods and other services on the electronic platform for commerce other than the supplies of e-commerce operator himself supply of goods and other service on the electronic platform for commerce including the supplies of e-commerce operator supply of goods and other service on an electronic platform for commerce so actually which will come under supplies through e-commerce operator including the e-commerce operators transactions or some other person transaction made through their platform some other person so supply of goods and other services of an electronic platform for commerce other than the supplies of e-commerce operator himself then correct but what is it covered under gst as supply of e-commerce operator supplies through e-commerce operator like that we see in a 95 or tcs in that context they are asking yeah we'll come we'll come to that so generally if i supply my own goods and services through e-commerce platform through my own e-commerce platform that is not covered under tds tcs so we are right now talking about this tcs chapter in the context of tcs chapter we discuss one question also na so a limited b limited goods star cart is selling so because of which star cart is required to direct tcs but when they 
Starcart own goods are supplied through their own platform, whether the TCS will be applicable, not applicable. So, supply of goods or services of an electronic platform for commerce other than the supply of e-commerce operator himself, okay. So, actually it is 4A, 4A, okay. So, for notified service and 95 e-commerce operator liable to pay GST and RCM in all other cases supplier through e-commerce operator is liable to pay GST and FCM. So, actually this is irrelevant. Supplies through ECO, you just write down here, supplies through ECO, supplies through ECO means supplies of another person, supplies of another person. Next, here actually the question is, what is supplies through e-commerce covered in GST? Actually, that is the correct question. What is supplies through e-commerce covered in GST for TCS? What is supplies through e-commerce covered in GST for TCS? Then next number 5, which of the following services provided by e-commerce operator is notified by government on which tax is payable by the e-commerce operator? What are the four services? H, A, T, E. H for housekeeping services. Is it there in the list? C point. Then next, accommodation. Is that point there? Service by providing accommodation in hotel and the hotel is also registered. No, it will not be coming because in case of accommodation service, the supplier should be unregistered. Then T, transportation of passengers, not by air, by roadways, motor vehicle. Motor vehicle do not include airways, railways, okay. So, it will also not come. Then next E, eating food in the restaurant, transportation of goods also will not come and housekeeping service where the supplier is not liable to be registered, option C is the correct answer. Is it clear? Then next, in which of the following supply of goods and services made exclusively to government departments? So, we are making supplies to government departments, agencies, etc. and persons notified under section 51 of CGST Act, TDS is required to be deducted. The amounts given below are inclusive of GST, 18%, wherever applicable, assume that all other conditions for reduction of TDS are fulfilled. So, health department executed a contract with a local supplier registered under GST to supply medical grade oxygen of 2.6 lakhs and is making full payment. Now, see this. So, actually, all the amounts given below are inclusive of GST. Now, from 2.6 lakhs, you take out GST because we need to see the value of supply excluding GST. If the contract value of supply excluding GST does not exceed 2,50,000, TDS is not applicable. Do you remember that point? So, now 2,60,000 into 100 divided by 118. How much? 2,20,338. Exceed 2,50,000 does not exceed 2,50,000. Does not exceed 2,50,000. So, TDS is not applicable, they are asking. So, in which of the following cases TDS is applicable? So, in this case TDS is not applicable. Then, government school is making a payment of 3.5 lakhs to a registered supplier for supply of cooked food as midday meal under the scheme sponsored by central or state government. In that case also TDS is applicable or not applicable? So, TDS is applicable or not applicable? TDS is not applicable. Why TDS is not applicable? Because it is exempted supply. So, this will be exempted supply due to which TDS is not applicable. Municipal Corporation of Kolkata purchased a heavy generator from a registered supplier in Delhi. 
now it is making payment of 5 lakh for such purchase so then in that case 5 lakhs generator definitely 5 lakhs inclusive of gst 18% if you separate a gst 18% definitely the value will be more than 2 lakh 50000 only so therefore it will be coming but see here municipal corporation of kolkata where is the supplier located from a registered supplier in Delhi. So now it is making a payment of 5 lakhs. So TDS is applicable. We don't have any restriction. Actually, one point is there now place of supply and location of recipient is in different state, then TDS is not applicable. That point is not applicable here. Then next finance department in Delhi is making payment of 3 lakh to a registered supplier for printing and stationery in Delhi. So 3 lakhs into 100 divided by 118. That is 2,54,000 which is more than 2,50. So, TDS is applicable. So, 3 and 4, option D, only in 3 and 4, TDS is applicable because in all these cases, why in second point TDS is not applicable even though value exceed 2,50, the service is exempted. Where it is exempted? Catering service. Catering service provided to educational institution, category 1 educational institution is exempted there it will be covered. Then descriptive question, say this question number 1, Sapna Education Private Limited is receiving supplies through e-commerce limited, an e-commerce operator has provided the following supplies during December 2020 through e-com limited. Supplies of goods taxable at 12% by registered supplier 5 lakhs returns if any 50,000 so actually these are the supplies through e-commerce limited okay and uh, whenever supply of goods is at 12 percent by registered supplier whether the e-commerce operator is required to direct TCS or not respond here uh, yeah e-com limited is one e-commerce operator some other supplier is supplying through this e-commerce operator whether the e-commerce operator should deduct TCS or not yes what are the conditions for TCS number one the supplier should be registered satisfied then next supply of some other person through their platform is it their own supplies or some other person supplies some other person supplies is it taxable supply yes it will be taxable supply and uh, we don't have any restriction so TCS will be definitely be applicable while doing the TCS we need to take value of supply minus sales returns so we need to reduce and on the remaining amount we need to compute TCS because the question is that only determine the amount of tax to be collected at source by ecom limited okay then second case supply of goods taxable at nil rate by registered supplier TCS is applicable or not applicable why it not applicable because we have seen when TCS is not applicable in that one point is if the supplies are exempted or non taxable TCS is not applicable basically this nil rate means exempted so TCS is not applicable supply of housekeeping services by unregistered supplier whether TCS is applicable or not not applicable why not applicable housekeeping services through e-commerce operator is covered under 95 where liability to pay GST is on e-commerce operator so therefore due to that reason in case of this 50,000 liability to pay GST is on supplier or e-commerce operator e-commerce operator 95 so TCS is not applicable then supply of other services by registered supplier so TCS is applicable supplier is registered and it is not covered under 95 so that supplier only will pay GST so e-commerce operator will deduct TCS now tell me what is the amount on which TCS is applicable 5 lakhs minus 50,000 plus 1 lakh 50,000 that is 6 lakhs on 6 lakhs TCS is applicable at what rate 1 percent so 6 lakhs into 1 percent will be 6,000 now see the second part determine the consequences if the said amount is paid 
and the return is filed on 15 1 2021 so these transactions pertains to which month december for december month what is the due date of payment of tcs 10th of next month january but they are paying on which date 15th of january so there is a delay by 5 days for 5 days we need to pay interest first what is the interest rate 18% so tcs how much 6000 into 18% into 5 divided by 365 so we need to pay 14.79 15 rupees as interest is it clear plus as there is a delay in payment of tcs means there is a delay in filing return what is the return tcs return gstr 8 by when gstr 8 needs to be filed by 10th of the month following every month so that is also delayed by 5 days so it is a late fee in case of tcs 100 rupees per day subject to maximum 5000 so 5 into 100 500 under cgst act and 500 under sgst act so 1000 rupees is it clear how 1000 100 under cgst 100 under sgst then question number 2 whether the rate of tax of 1% notified under section 52 is cgst or sgst or combination of both cgst and sgst hmm? so one percent is together which means if it is intrastate we need to take cgst 0.5 sgst 0.5 then is every e-commerce operator required to collect tax on behalf of actual supplier is every e-commerce operator required to collect tax on behalf of actual supplier yes so see this tcs is actually a tax which is collected by the e-commerce operator on behalf of the supplier and remitted it to the government in the name of the supplier that's the reason why supplier will take that as TCS credit and adjust against the liability, correct. So every e-commerce operator is required to collect tax where consideration is collected by e-commerce operator. However, no TCS is required to be collected in the following cases. Suppose if the supply is covered under 9.5 or if it is exempt supplies or supplies on which recipient is only required to pay under RCM. So, not on e-commerce operator or supplier, neither on supplier. The liability is neither on supplier nor on e-commerce operator. So, you have written, what are the cases where TCS is not applicable? Now, one more point also you add, supply covered under RCM. For TDS, you have written that, for TCS also you update that point. In your notebook, you have written, when TCS is not applicable, when TDS is not applicable like that, few points. In that TCS not applicable, one more point you update supply covered under rcm for tds this point is there you have written okay supply covered under rcm when tcs is not applicable next state whether the provisions pertaining to tax collector at source under section 52 will be applicable if Phyton Limited sells watch on its own through its own website. So Titan, or Phyton they are telling, Phyton Limited. So selling the watch through their own website, whether TCS will be applicable or not applicable, not applicable. Hence, if the person sells on his own, provisions pertaining to TCS won't be applicable. There is no onus of filing any monthly and annual return by e-commerce operator. Examine the technical veracity of the statement by explaining relevant provision. They are telling e-commerce operator is not required to file any monthly or annual return. What is your answer? False. E-commerce operator is required to file a monthly return in GSTR 8 by 10th of the month following every month and an annual return in GSTR 9B by 31st December of the succeeding financial year. Then question 6. State whether the provisions pertaining to tax collected at source under section 52 will be applicable if ABC Limited, who is a dealer of Royal Brand, sells watches through Slipkart, an e-commerce operator. Applicable or not? Yes. 
sir if i am supplying goods through a third party website tcs will be applicable so therefore the provisions of tcs will be applicable to slipkart e commerce operator okay these are all study material questions all these are study material questions this question number 1 alone i just created how the question could come like a complex question covering you know tcs as well as interest late fee everything okay